our town road trip brings us to the town of Anamosa. We are here at J&P Cycles and John Parham is going to take me for a ride. Hopefully we're going to beat the rain. Yep. Maybe if we're lucky, huh? If we're lucky, we'll make it down to the museum. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alrighty. John Parham has been in the motorcycle business for 34 years, starting J&P Cycles on his own. Today, J&P employs more than 300 people with shops in Daytona, Florida, Sturgis, South Dakota, and the headquarters here in Anamosa. Right, in, yes. Take a look at the motors. Certainly. Where are we here? Uh, National Motorcycle Museum in Anamosa. All right. I have to say thank you for going easy on me. That was an easy <laughs> ride. Thank you. Not bad for my first one. Yeah. Okay, John, walking right into the museum here. Tell me a little bit about everything that's in here, or what we're looking at, really. Well, uh, there's 225 bikes in the museum, uh, starting with 1903 up into the mid-80s. And uh, there's just uh, all makes and models. So if you, if you like uh, scooters or European bikes or, or Harley Davidsons or race bikes. A little bit of everything. We got everything, yeah. This museum is relatively young, having opened in 2001, but it's already attracting 17,000 visitors a year from all over the country and also the world. Through the years when I've, I've been collecting and searching, oh, I belong to the Antique Motorcycle Club of America, and mm -hmm. uh, so you go to these events and you go find the stuff, and then now people call us because they know we have the museum. So I need to thank you for the tour of J&P Cycles, for the tour of the National Motorcycle Museum, but more importantly, for the ride for the in between. Yeah, your first motorcycle <laughs> yeah. ride, right? Did I do okay? You did good. All right. Well, we, thank you very much, yeah, John. Thank it was you. great to meet you. It was you. fun. Thanks.